in bacterial cytology today we'll be talking about a peculiar structure present in some prokaryotic cells which is referred to as the inclusion bodies inclusion bodies can be referred to as the storage granules which may be a storage of either a organic or a inorganic material for a typical prokaryotic cell these inclusion bodies they may be covered by a typical membrane like it may be made of a membrane made of protein it may be a membrane made of phospholipid or sometimes some of the inclusion bodies they are also free they are naked and they are not enclosed by any kind of a membrane the occurrence of these inclusion bodies is not universal in a prokaryotic cell the occurrence of these inclusion bodies will depend on the species of the bacteria and also on the nutritional status of that particular bacterial cell the inclusion body which we will be talking about today is the phb the one of the common inclusion bodies uh, much talked about in case of uh, bacterial cell is the phb called as the poly beta hydroxy butyrate now this kind of inclusion bodies though first uh, discovered and isolated and characterized in 1925 by french microbiologist maurice lemongny its worth was not recognized much at that time but today we know that this phb is nothing but it is a beta hydroxy butyrate molecules which are joined together by ester bond this ester bond is formed between the monomers which are joined with the carboxyl and hydroxyl group of the adjacent molecules the phb granules you will find that they are very difficult to stain so in a typical light microscopy you cannot observe them unless you stain them by some dyes like sudan black or nile blue which will help you in uh, locating these uh, presence of these inclusion bodies in light microscopy in electron microscopy these inclusion bodies may appear as empty holes maybe because the solvents which are used for making the slides they dissolve these uh, inclusion bodies basically this phb is a source of carbon and energy so whenever a cell is encountered in a situation where there is excess of carbon but there is deficiency of some other nutrients say for example a cell is living in an environment where there is lot of carbon but the amount of nitrogen and phosphorus or any one of these or two of them or any other nutrient uh, is less in that case the cell stores the excess of carbon in the form of these phb granules when a cell will be encountered in a situation where other nutrients are in excess but carbon is deficient in that case this phb hydrolysis will provide the required energy required carbon required material for various biosynthetic reactions phb like a more general term which we use is polyhydroxy alkanoate that is phe some of the bacterial species which have these phbs are bacillus acetobacter methylobacterium as i told that various species their nutritional status they will define the presence of these inclusion bodies presently these inclusion bodies of phbs and in general phas are in discussion more because of their use in formation of uh, biodegradable plastics thank you